Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Pacific Inlet Logging here in Farming Simulator 17. And looking at our money, it appears that we are now a member of the Crazy 88s, which is slightly concerning. Um, if you don't know who the Crazy 88s are, if you're under 18, come back when you're 18. If you're over 18, go and have a look at Uma Thurma's... Uh, Uma Thurma or Uma Thurman? Uma Thurman, I think. Anyway, she did a film called Kill Bill. And, um, yeah, that, that, that will explain the Crazy 88s. Definitely an 18 rated. Um, extreme 18 rated. Do not watch if you are under 18. Under any circumstances whatsoever. You have been warned. But anyway, it appears that we are a member of the Crazy 88s. Um, now, I wanted a tractor. Today we have earned ourselves, well, uh, yesterday, we earned ourselves enough money to be able to buy, not buy, lease a tractor. It's got to be a forestry tractor. I didn't want it to be anything other than a forestry tractor. And I want a front loader attachment on it. Yes, uh, standard wheels. And we're going to lease that right there. Okay. There we go. Selection is being leased. There we go. Right. Now, back. Back again, and we want to go to the front loaders. I want a stole front loader right here, and I'm going to go with red. Is that the right shade, red? Ooh, I don't know, actually. I need to... Let's just take a quick look. I'm not... No, it's not. That shade of red is slightly different to the bright shade that I was just looking at. It's that shade that we want. That's that one. Yes, definitely. It's definitely that one. Okay, lease... Before I forget and I get it wrong or something like that. There we go. So we can... Nope, 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 nope. And that one is really good for picking up logs. We will try this one. I don't know what this one's going to be like. And this one's also going to be red. So we lease that one. $72. Back and back and back. And we're going to need one more thing for this. In order to make this work properly, we do actually need to have... A barrel. So what's this one here? This uh, 550. I actually want it a bit heavier than that. I'm going to go with an Agco 1100 weight on... Th nope. Agco 1100. That's what I wanted. And again, red. Lease. There. That's much better. Okay, so we've now leased all of the equipment that we want. Uh, you may wonder why I was sat over in a barn over there. I was having my... I was, I was having, well, it was actually my breakfast. I was, I was having a bit of breakfast. I went and bought some snacks over there, and then I was sat down in the only place that I've got to sleep at the moment, which is that barn, and I was having a bite to eat. So here is our brand new forestry tractor. This is looking fantastic. Here we go. Ooh, hang on. That ain't right. That auto start. I don't want auto start. Plant growth is on normal. Plant withering needs to be off. I don't want plant withering. I'm not interested in that nonsense. Um, the helper refill fuel off. Fuel usage is default. Seed and fertilizer. I'm going to switch these off and off. And Well, those two don't really matter anyway. And, and then dirt is normal. Traffic doesn't matter. And fertilizer states periodic plowing. Okay. That's looking good. Money, yep, dollar, and help icons, radio, reset, uh, no, I don't want any of this, uh, where is it? Where is it, where, where, reset, no, 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 where's the thing? Vehicle volume, traffic, dirt, ah, that's the one I'm looking for, automatic engine start, I want that one off, okay, there we go, that's better, right, so here is our new tractor, and I'm keyboard steering at the moment, it's actually, believe it or not, it's more comfortable for me sometimes for recording to not use my um, steering wheel because I'm sort of more limited in like the position that I can sit at my desk with the steering wheel. Um, I've still got my joystick for using this, which is really good. That's going to be absolutely priceless for this thing. Um... But yeah, it's actually more comfortable to sometimes not have the steering wheel. So I, I do like to do that if I can. Especially if I'm doing like a lot of chainsaw work or anything like that. Because um, it's more difficult for me to access the keyboard when I've got the steering wheel hooked up. 
Um, so yeah, interesting little fact there. But there is our Steyr Forestry Tractor. Let's just have a look at that one. There we go. I'm very pleased with this. This is what we're going to be using for doing all of our work. And I did get the right shade. I did get the right shade of red. That is brilliant. I'm very pleased with that. Let's go. And next up... Right, what are we doing? What is our next target? We've we've still got a load of these trees that we can cut down. We've got a lot of those trees that we do want to cut. Um, but really, we want to be looking at getting our next vehicle... Uh, that one. I'm not, I don't really care about that one. That one I'm not fussed about. I've, I've never been fond of that one anyway. I don't like the crane on it. But this one here, if we get that, we could cut the trees directly into the lake. That would be pretty cool. Nice and easy to use. And then we've also got the auto load timber runner right there. Um, which we can use later on so that we can really start to speed the process up a little bit. And we've got under wheel loaders, I think it is, somewhere. Um, it's not there. Where is it then? I got a, th I got a thing here somewhere. I got that special thing. Um, no. Oh, maybe it's under telehandlers. It, it is here somewhere. Uh, nope, not that one. That JCB is part of the farm classics. It's not in here. Where on earth has it gone? Front loaders, maybe? It's got to be here somewhere. I've definitely... It's definitely part of the mod selection that I've got. And we come through... No, it's not there either. Right. Now I'm just confused. I ha... Oh, hang on a minute. Is it... If I, if it was it here and did I go past it? Not there, there it is. It's that one. That stump grinder there is particularly good. Um, the Brux Chipper is also good, but I'm not too worried about that. So, no, the one that I really want at the moment is going to be the Ponzi Scorpion King right there. And I suppose we, you know, we, we might actually play around with some of these later on. I don't really have any um, desire to play around with them. Kind of the idea is I want to clear an area and get doing some farming on here as well so we can like do some mowing and stuff like that uh but the scorpion king right there we'll go with the standard wheels that's twenty six thousand dollars it's going to take us a while before we're ready to get that one um we'll be able to move the logs a little bit faster now using this I'm starting to think that i should have brought the use the steering wheel no i think we'll be all right and we'll put that one on there like that and then close you uh, I can pick that one up. Right, this works. This this is all good. As long as it works, that's the important thing. Oh, that was something else I wanted to find out. Rather than dumping them off of there, I wanted to bring them over this way. We're going to go round here. Up here. And I want to see where I can drop these in order to get money. So I cannot drop them here at all. I do actually have to put them in the water. So pick this one up and dump it over the side. <laughs> it's going to dump over the side. It will work. Go. There we go. Right. $1,800 for that one log. It's definitely worth chopping up these trees a little bit and getting this main branch. This main branch seems to be worth quite the pretty penny. So we grab you. Let's get this next one. And it, we're going to have to do several of these if we're going to be able to get our money for the ponds. 26,000 we're going to need altogether. Let's bring you over to there and drop you in. I'm hoping that it will just roll. Yes, it does. It just rolls right down the side. So there's $1,700 there. And we'll move in a little bit closer. I need to get a decent angle so I can... One thing that does frustrate me with this game is being able to see a decent angle on the front loaders sometimes. Um, although, it's got to be said that this game is far superior with like getting the front loaders set than some other games. Um, some of them that I've played, some different games, like I've really struggled to see anything with the front loader. And this is way better. There's another 1,700 there. We're up to six grand. I'll tell you what. 
the six grand this time round is considerably faster than we had in our last episode. I do not want to fall in this lake. This one tree here is the one that I was wondering about previously. So we're thinking, how are we going to do this? But, no, nope, it seems to have worked just fine. I tell you what, this log grab's not too bad. For big logs, it is pretty good, right? This, this does actually work fairly well with these big logs, he says, as he throws it on the floor. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's come back round and we grab you and... Go like that. Pick you up. Oops. There. And... Do that. Don't... No, 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 no! I'm pushing backwards, I'm pushing backwards! Don't fall in! Oh! Oh, that was so close! I wonder what the... I wonder if there's any reset charges for resetting it. Can you... Can you reset the things? I mean, I hope you can reset them. Um... Although I'm sort of thinking that maybe I should have a rule on the map that I don't reset. No resets. If it if it falls, if, if I drop something in the lake, I'm not allowed to reset it. Um, I don't know at the moment. I'll have a think about that, but um, that could actually be something that could be fun to do. Just uh, a standard no reset rules. That was $2,000, that was. I'm sure that wasn't the biggest log that I've put in there, but it's still $2,000. Maybe it's because it was slightly shorter than the others, and so it was straighter. Because straight does play a part in it. We'll see. With this one right here, this, this is going to be the one that will tell us. This one here, I actually want to get the old chainsaw out and just trim off that bit. There. It's a bit on there. And... There we go. Bring that. I think that's the last one for a minute. Let's we'll start cutting some more down. So let's see how much we get for this one. There. Raise you. Lift, lift you up. There we go. And dump you in there. That is 2,100. Okay, so it's worth letting them grow. Uh, you know, let them grow. Let, let them be just a little bit longer. And we can still do something with them. Now, the next big question... Let me just switch that one off a minute. Um, what next? This is the area that we're going to cut down, right? We're going to cut down all the trees on this area. We're going to go all the way up to this road here. Now, this road does actually go to the McLean biogas plant. So I'm going to plow out to the edge of this road, but I'm not going any further than this. I'm not going to, like, plow in the road and use that for growing crops. Um, that just seems like it would be a bit sort of churlish to try and do something like that so i will come out along here and then the field can go along here and we'll run sort of along this kind of area here so i've got a few trees out on this side that we want to cut down um those trees there going into the biogas plant i don't really have any need to cut those down and they are like difficult ones to cut We've also got these trees that are lying down in the woods here. We'll do something with these. I'm not really sure where you cut them for the logs. I don't know if you can pick those out with the Ponzi Scorpion or not. That's something that we'll look at later on. I'm not going to worry about that now. So, I've got these trees along the front here. And then I'll have... I've also got those over that side. So, along the road on the top end... We've got this big patch here. So we've got quite a patch here. We've got a lot of logs in here that we're going to need to cut down. A lot of trees. Uh, but up this way, we've just got these three deciduous trees to remove. And then it's down that way that we need to worry about. So we'll get these three done first. And then we can start heading down the other direction and seeing what we can do down there. So what I'm thinking... I don't know how well this is going to work. I've got 12 grand at the moment. 12 grand is pretty good if i can cut that one down now where could we go see we've got a load of logs here so it's, it's not i can't just like drag the trees out i might be able to drag a tree out that way this is what i'm wondering is if i could put a chain around the tree and we drag the tree i could bring over to here 
drag the tree all the way out to this point and put it here somewhere, cut it up up here, and then like dispatch it and and dump it. That might make that might be a bit easier for us. Um, I don't know because I've I've got that there's the, the the mod that allows you to drag your trees around, and we can just very quickly jump up onto this one and chop a few of these leaves off. Make our life a little bit easier in a minute. Right. There's a few gone. And we'll go over... We'll cut these other two trees down a minute as well. And then we're going to go over to dealership. And we're going to see if we can... Uh, uh, see about buying the... Tow chain. So that we can tow these... Drag these trees out. And get them over near the point where we can cut them. And I just think it's going to... I think it's just going to make our life a little bit easier. Right. We don't want to fell a tree on our head. That's, that's not going to make anything easier because there's no hospitals out here. We're on our own. We are completely on our own. Except for the dude over in the um, the, the gas station over there. Um, and quite frankly, um, he's not very talkative. I tried having a conversation with him. I may as well have a conversation with my own hand. It's um, I pro I, To be honest, if I was to look in a mirror and have a conversation, I would have a better conversation than I could have with the guy that uh, works in the gas station. He's, um... How can we put this politely? His mind has never been violated with an original thought. That's about as polite as I can get for describing the guy over in the gas station. Let's just lower that down a little bit. There we go. We cut that down nice and low. The more timber that we have on a tree, the more money we get, I think. And then we've also started to get a little pile of wood chips that's accumulating around here. So we're going to want to be gathering up some of these wood chips. And we're going to be wanting to do something with that as well. Let's bring you over and just quickly slice through this lot. And more slicey slicey over there. And slicey slicey is, by the way, the technical term for um, what you do with a chainsaw. Just in case those of, those of you didn't know... Um, I, I like to just, just use the, the, the proper technical terms. And we're going through here. And right. That'll do it. That, that'll do me for a minute. So let's go and get our chains so that we can drag these out a minute. Now, we're not going to want that back weight for a minute. We have to set that one down. And then we can get the chains on. Actually... We're probably going to want to change this round. I'm not sure we're going to want that grab on in order to do this. So what I think we'll do is... I'll bring this around like this. Okay. Uh, no, I don't, want, I don't want to leave it there. I'm going to end up... I'll end up coming to mischief if I leave it there. So what we'll do instead is I'll bring this one over here. And this is kind of like off out the way here. And I'll put it down there. And then we unhitch that one. And then we back out, and we can lower that one down, like that, and unhitch. And then we can swivel round and get this one on the front. So we've got a very, very... This is a big weight for this tractor. And I appreciate that we've got a very... Ex you can see, look at that, look at that. The way that it's now pressing down, that is a very excessive weight for this tractor. But there's a very particular reason that I've got this. I do think that this is something that we actually need. A weight this heavy for this tractor. Uh, at this, for, we're already on forestry equipment. Excellent. We want to go back through here now. And that one there is good for like picking up and transporting the tree logs. It's quite cool. But it's this one. This is the one that I like. And I'm actually going to buy this one, I think. Um... Because I could lease it for $360. That's considerably cheaper than buying it. And then we've still got our money. We're slowly building up to go towards our absolutely wonderful and beautiful um, new Ponzi Scorpion that we're going to be leasing as well. So bring that up round there. Back you in. A little bit more. Right. Now we're talking. This is it. We're going to go... Well, we'll go up this end and we'll, drag, we'll get this tree here first. We we'll drag that one round, and we'll do them round in a loop because we can actually get them up round this direction. So I bring it there, and I don't really want to go any closer than that. Let's have a look. I can't remember what the controls are for this now. Uh, detach. Uh, turn on logging winch. Detach all. 
Right, you come out over here. So I've, I've already got the rope. I come up to here. Unmount trailer hook. Like that. So I've now got the rope. And I bring this one over to here like that. And then attach, detach object. So you put that one around. I press B like that to put it round. And then this one here. I'm, actually, I'm just going to try and pick that wedge up a minute. I want that. Okay. We bring that one out over here. I can release the rope. I don't actually want to do anything else with the rope and the chain at the moment. I'm far enough away from it. I just want to get these wedges and chuck them in. That's $11 for that wedge. And there's going to be one around here somewhere. There it is. Take you. So I, st I still don't know why we get wedges now. I don't remember this being in the game when we started. Is this something new that they've added in? When I realise you can't answer me until... That's only $4. Why such a difference? I think we made that much of a difference when we were cutting them. Right, let's take this next wedge and see what this one does. $4 for the, la for the last one. $11 for the one before that. That was quite the um, the record when it comes to our dollar. Three? I think the price is dropping. Get the distinct impression that the price of timber is now dropping. Which is not something that we want. Right. Jump back into here. Now, you've got two options when you're in here. Turn on logging winch. Right, that just switches the thing on. And then winch. Left shift is fast winch. So I can drag that one in. Like that. And that's starting to sort of drag things around a little bit. So it's just Z. And I can drag it. So I actually want to press Z a little bit and just drag it in a bit tighter. Shift Z drags it up nice and fast. So there, I think I think that's fine like that. I'll bring that one along there. we we'll go on round this way. I do not want to accidentally drop it. But what I will do is I'll bring it to this point right here. And then, how do I let go of it? It's the next bit. Detach. Nope. I didn't want to do that detach. Uh, lift you up. Why aren't you lifting? I'm not sure why you're not lifting. Uh, re oh, release rope. No. I press X. Left, shift, B. There we go. Right. Now, why is this one... Now on the ground. If I detach it a minute. And then... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I want to attach it again. And... Oh. Right, for some strange reason it decided to just sit itself down on the ground. I'm going to get another tree a second. And I'm going to drag this one around as well. And I'm going to take this one up around the top. Because I think it would be the better way to go with it. And we, we, we'll just go to this point right here, look. And then we go... You go up to the back of it like that. And we press O to... Oh, no. Tra oh, I see. Right. Put that one up there. That moves the trailer hook. Just just moves it away. So then we go... As, as long as you got it. Move this one up. And I put B to put that one onto there. And then we jump back into here. And then it's Z or... Can't winch, turn it on. That would be a good start. Turn that one on. If I press shift, fast winch. Pull you up like this. Excellent. I've used this one. I have used this one before. I used this one in the Dowland Farm time lapse, actually. Um, and I am quite impressed with this mod. I do like this winch. I think it's pretty cool. So we drag this one down over here. So this is going to be a second big log that we're going to be able to leave behind. So I'll put you down there like that. And then I will go left shift B to unhook that one. Bounce my way out through there. And then I'll go and get this one over here. So then we've got three of them. We've got three of them all lined up, ready to roll. So I need to jump out a second and... Then all you got to do is just run up to the branch, press B. You can actually take more than one log if you want to as well. But I don't really 
think we need to worry about that. Oops. Careful. Right. Uh, I'm pressing and holding Z while I travel. There we go. And I'll bring that one up here. So that's fairly close as well. A little bit more. There we go. And then left shift B to unhook. And I'll put this one... I'll just reverse the tractor back here out of the way a minute. Now, if I reverse the tractor back, like that, turn that one off, if I unhook it, I don't think then you've got the... Oh, it's still got the cable. Right, that cable stays permanently. So if you, if I go up, I can press B and I can hook the cable on if I want to. Um, I don't actually want to and I'm not going to worry about it, but you, you can. So just, just I think that's something that you need to be aware of when you use it is that if you've got it, it's like if you're anywhere near the thing, you can accidentally hook the cable onto the branches and that might be inconvenient for you. So we got wood chips now starting to form piles and this is a good thing. We're going to cash those in. Right, let's just quickly chop off these branches here. I probably won't get to cashing in wood chips today. That'll be something that we do another time. Uh... Right, that's all of that one trimmed off. I'm going to go... I'll go through with a chainsaw a minute and we'll trim off all the branches that we want to trim off. And I'm also going to cut everything that I want to cut off as well. So I want that one... Actually, I need to come around this... There we go, that's better. Come around to that side there and chop you through. And we've got another one further up. I'm going to sort of go through and make this one fairly long... And it seems like that was a, a slightly more profitable venture. So if I chop that one there. Like that. And... Right, I've got a... There we go, we do that. That's, those are all cut through. And then cut those through, up through to there. I've got... Oh, that's, I've already cut those. Have I trimmed them off? I think they're trimmed off. And then I'll go and, like, just sort of cut it through up here somewhere. And I think that's the last bit. So then i got a nice long branch here. Uh, uh, like a, a, a long main trunk. Do that. There. So that long main trunk, that's, that's the bit that's going to really earn us the cash. These other bits, because I'm now actually taking the time to trim these off, because it did seem in the last episode that it, it is actually worth doing this. And I thought, well, you know, for the amount of time that we spend trimming the branches versus the return, it's probably not worth it. But it seemed that, you know, once we did sort of look at it, it did appear to be worth the time and effort. So, yeah, we'll carry on doing this. We'll chop that one down there and we'll also cut this one right through there. If I can. can let me do it. Yeah, we can cut that one right off there. Get it in nice and tight to the main trunk seems to also be a, a good thing to do. Now, where else have I got leaves? Oh, there, right on the end. Right there. It's going to let me cut it. I just want to trim the branches off. Don't ask for much in life, do I? Well, I probably do, actually. Sen would probably tell you that I ask for an awful lot of things. Um, so, yeah, uh... Uh, maybe I should just not talk about that. Um, we go around here. Uh, yeah, saying I don't ask for much in life. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always asking for things like food and um, and, and more food and 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 then like you know new, new toys and um, new, new computer games. I mean, technically, I do have to buy the computer games for my job, so you know, I, I am able to get that that. That is sort of... I, I win that one on a technicality, but um, it's, it's, it, it's a pretty close technicality sometimes. It's, um, yeah, she, she, does, she does sort of point out that, well, you know, some of the games that you buy, you don't necessarily have to have those games, do you? Because some of them, you don't seem to do very many videos for people with them. It's not my fault that the episodes aren't very popular. Um, although, like, I, I did get... GTA a little while ago, GTA 5, and 
I have spent quite a bit of time playing it. Why aren't you f why aren't you going into the lake? Go. Drop in. There we go. 785 for that first one. Um, so I, I did get GTA 5, but um, I haven't actually spent that much time playing it. I did, I did spend several days playing it, but then I haven't sort of gone back to it since because, I don't know, it, it started to get a bit almost like samey. Um, you get all the different missions and stuff like that to do, but um, it was... Uh, I'm not sure. I'll probably want to go back to it at some point, but... Um, Let's be honest, I am more of a sort of World of Warcraft type person than I am a GTA 5 type person. I always have been, I always will be, it's something that some of you are now actually starting to find out. We've got our guild in World of Warcraft, and yes, I'm going to keep talking about it, because I play World of Warcraft in my own time, okay? So, and yes, I know that there are people who want me to form a, to set up a farming simulator server, um, I play World of Warcraft in my own time, and so I decided to try to connect with some of you, the viewers, in my own time, um, and it seems it's it's working. We've got several people on the guild now, and the um, the Frith Guardians is growing daily. We're getting more people joining, and we're starting. We're going to well, we haven't started yet, but we're going to be doing um, various different events and stuff in the game. Uh, let, I will just point out that events are not going to be too regular. Um, Warcraft is kind of, it's like my escape, and it's the, um, something that I do with, it's me and Sen that do it. So, um, even though I'm online on a fairly regular basis, I'm not always going to be doing things with other people. Sometimes I'll sort of, um, I'll be online, but I'll be doing something with Sen, and um, generally just ignoring everybody else. But, um... It's, it's quite cool. I, I do like the fact that we've got this guild going and you can all come along and join as well. So if you're at all interested in playing World of Warcraft, then skip over to any recent episode and you'll find details on how to join, how to join the server um, that I'm on and also how to join the guild and so on and so forth. All those little important details that you will need if you want to join the guild. Um, where do I want to go now? I'm going to go up onto there. Uh, but yes, the Frith Guardians we are called. And incidentally, I liked the name the Frith Guardians. It's taken me a while, I must admit. You know what I'm like with um, names of anything that's sort of saying Frith on it anywhere. Um, I always sort of feel a little bit awkward about it because it's, it's like my name. I, I don't know. It feels almost a bit big-headed by naming everything after me. But... Um, I'm frequently asked to do so anyway, so I'm starting to get used to this idea. Uh, but the Frith Guardians, I've now decided that, you know, we've got the Great Book of Names. Uh, some of you will be familiar with the Great Book of Names. If you're not, um, you can join the Great Book of Names, and if ever I've got to name something in-game, uh, any game that I play, and if I've, if I've got to find a name, I take the name from the Great Book of Names. Uh, so I am collectively calling everybody in the book Frith Guardians. You are now becoming Frith Guardians and I'm actually sort of thinking well that's not the only place that the Frith Guardians exist. We've got Frith Guardians in World of Warcraft so you become Frith Guardians in there but quite frankly anybody that supports this channel, anybody that is subscribed to the channel is a Frith Guardian. So that, that is it. That is all you have to do in order to become a Frith Guardian, in order to be able to wear the badge of Frith Guardian with pride, just subscribe to the channel. That's all you have to do. So that's, that's going to be our new sort of thing. Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, you are classed as one of the mighty Frith Guardians. And I think it's brilliant. You know, I've, I've got an army of Guardians now, and I, I really do like this. Um, so I can't actually say who it was that came up with the name of Frith Guardians because he wants to remain anonymous. Um, uh, he or she, I suppose. Well, that's kind of let the cat out of the bag, hasn't it? Um, but, um, yes, uh, I get, I get quite a few people who are, are doing some awesome things for this channel. And like, um, you know, we, we've got, we've had some donations made and we've had some other things done as well and suggestions and ideas and all sorts. What really staggers me is the number of you that make these suggestions and participate and join in and do all of this support but insist on remaining anonymous and not actually wanting to be given um due recognition and it does yeah it's it 
it's amazing that there are that many people in the world that do all this really cool stuff but don't want any formal kind of recognition whatsoever. They just want, you know, oh, that would be really cool. I'd like to see that in place. Don't, I don't that's all I want is just to see it happen. So that's one of the things that happened with Frith Guardians. The name was suggested, but the, um, the suggestee is someone who is remaining anonymous. That is the only contribution they want is the only recognition they want is the fact that it is used. And that, you know, people are happy with it. And I'm getting some very positive feedback about this name. So this name is here to stay. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. This will never do. Let's go over here. And we want to take that and chop you off of there. There we go. Right. That's much better. We've cleaned up our act quite nicely. So we're on $16,000. And this is where we don't want to tip our vehicle over 2,100 in sold wood right there. I need $25,000 in order to be able to get the Ponzi Scorpion. Quite frankly, I think we are not very far off of that. A few more trees cut down and we are going to be well on our way to $25,000. We are not doing too bad. Whoa, Nelly. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> we have to be very, very careful with this. Right, there's another two grand. And this one here would be another two grand as well. So that's going to push us all the way up to a fabulous $22,000. Let's grab you. There we go. And right, I'll run you up. Do not go too fast. That is the absolute crucial point here is we cannot go too fast. Okay, we'll drop that into there. Ah, there's another 2,070 in sold wood. That makes 22,000. If I was to go and take a whole tree and dump that in, how much is that? Can I carry a whole tree? I'm curious now. Can I carry one whole tree? I don't know if I can. Um, and also, I don't think we get very much for a whole tree. I think cutting it up. So cutting up, we've, uh, you know, by the time we get, we get one log consistently that seemed to be about $700. And then we had like a couple of ones and twos, plus we get the two grand. So you're looking at, roughly speaking, $3,000 for the tree. Once we've finished, once we've processed everything and we've gone through, I would say that we're getting about $3,000 per tree that we've taken over and we've dropped in by that log, um, but by the mill. Um, it would be interesting, I think, very soon in the future. Let's um, not push this one too far away. Uh, how can I pick that one up? I want to pick that one up a little bit more in the middle, I think. Go in there. Like that, maybe. There. Um, yeah, something I think that would actually be interesting to do is we'll get two more trees, get them cut so that we've got everything cut down and separated, and then we will get the... Um, we'll put one... We'll dump one final tree trunk in there, and we'll take the other final tree trunk... And we'll take it round and we'll drop it into the actual sawmill. And we'll see if there is a difference between the two. See if you get a significantly higher price for the pond or for the sawmill itself. Because that's not so... I'm not actually sure about it. I'm pretty sure somebody did tell me quite recently um, that one was better than the other. But um, what they actually said to me, I, I couldn't tell you because I, I've forgotten now. Right, we'll drop that in there. It's 1,400 for a tree. With zero work whatsoever. So if we do a load of work, we do actually double up the amount of timber and stuff. That, or the amount of money that we get from it. Um, now, where, where do we sell the tree? I think you've actually got to physically pick it up and you've got to dump it in there. I don't think you sell it on this side. I'm not sure, though. I think you do. Well, maybe you do. I'm sort of looking on the mini-map where the cell point appears to be. It looks like... Maybe we do. We, we just drop it down here. If that's the case, 
There is a very easy thing that we can do, but we're going to have to do that next episode. I'm not going to do it today. We will come back to that. Um, we will we'll put this down. I'm actually going to put this one down, and I want to get that other one on. So I'll switch these over, and then we will call it quits for today's episode, I think. And we will come back next time. So I want to switch over to you and unhitch you. Then I want to bring you back round, and I want to drop that one down. Like that. And then switch around so we've got our front weight on. And then we want to go and get ourselves a tree. We might actually have time to do just one tree. I think we've got just enough time to do one tree. And we'll back that one up there. Get you on. There we go. Right. If we go racing over this way, I'll get one tree there that we cut down next to the water. And then we can haul that one back through. I've got two that I can cut down. Well, actually, I'm going to cut one down. I was just thinking. Um, I've also got a wedge there that we want to chuck into the lake. You need to chuck it in over there somewhere, I think it is. There we go. Five dollars. It's not a lot. But five dollars is five dollars. Never forget. Five dollars is indeed five dollars. Uh, it's about as low as I can get it right there. Chop that one in. I need to do stump grinding in our next episode as well. So I've got some sawdust that we want to pick up as well as some stump grinding that we're going to want to do. Uh, before we hook this one on, let's just turn you round. We're going to need to... Right, I've got a tree right in the way here, haven't I? This is, this is going to make life a bit more difficult for me. I think we do need to go out round that way. So you go up to there, just press B. That hooks on to the base of it like that. So can't winch and you turn it on. Okay, we'll do that and haul that one up so he's up close to the actual tractor. That's our first step. And then we'll bring it in round here. Actually, this is going to work out alright. So we had $1,500 roughly speaking $1,500 for our tree that we sold into the lake. So next up, we're going to come whizzing along here, and we're going to see if we can sell a tree in this way. Uh, well, apparently we can't just dump it in there, so we... Nope, not control B. There. Take that one off of there. I need to go and get the um, log fork on now, so that I can sell it. So we'll bring this one back over this way. Anchor in round. Uh, probably best not to do it like that. That was that was a little bit savage, that was. I, I probably should have gone a little tiny bit slower than that. So let's unhitch you. And I'll drop you off there. Yeah, I know I'm just dumping them on the ground. We'll, we'll worry about doing it a little bit more realistically next time. Um, I want to hurry up and get this done now. I'm running out of time. And oop, easy, easy, easy. There, nudge that back. I shouldn't have hit that one in the first place, so it, it shouldn't be looking like that. There we go. Right, so we've got that one on, and then this one here, I want to just bring that back round there. A little bit more. Perfect. There we go. Right. Finally, we go and grab this tree now, and we'll see if we can dump it in over that wall, as I'm pretty sure that is the other log cell point. There's two log... Well... Since I don't actually know, I'm not sure if there's two log cell points on this map or not. It might be that there isn't even two log cell points. It might be that um, that isn't a cell point in there. It doesn't appear to be. Oh, yes, it is. And we've got 1,400. So it's the same price. It doesn't matter if we put it in there or we put it into the lake. We get 1,400. If you come in here, you could probably use a road train and sell the logs quite successfully going in that way. But that has pushed us to $25,000. And I'm thinking now, if we have a look, go into forestry equipment. Uh, we want to just whiz up through this way here. 25,360. We got one. We need to do one more. We'll do that next time. Right, let's just stop you right there. And you are ready to roll. We literally need one more tree. 
One more tree will do it. And then we've got the $25,000 that we need to get the Ponzi Scorpion. So we can start getting some of these trees here. And all we got to do is reverse them up over to here and then cut them straight into the lake. That is going to be nice and easy. And it's really going to start the money rolling in. By the time we get through this little stand of trees here, we're going to be absolutely minted. And we'll then be able to start doing some proper farming. That's the whole idea here. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.